Meanwhile, the territorial disputes in the South China Sea were also high in the agenda of the 25th ASEAN summit that began today in Myanmar's capital, Nipido. President Aquino joined the other ASEAN leaders in the summit talks also in the agenda where the Islamic State menace in Iraq and Syria, the deadly Ebola virus in West Africa and next year's ASEAN integration. Added details from Elena Nina. ASEAN leaders acknowledge President Aquino's effort to peacefully resolve the territorial dispute between the Philippines and China on the West Philippine Sea. PCOO Secretary San Nicoloma, who joined the President during the ASEAN plenary session, shared ASEAN leaders are united in saying to attain peace and stability in the region, peace building is necessary. The general sense expressed by the heads of state was one of support. Uh, they recognize this to be an important step forward in the work of ASEAN and they acknowledge that uh, peaceful resolution is essential, especially in terms of pushing the agenda of regional economic integration and that peace and stability in the region is an important precondition for attaining a greater measure of economic progress. The plenary session gave the president the opportunity to call on fellow ASEAN members to continue negotiations with China on forging a legally binding code of conduct. The president shared among fellow leaders the talk he had in China with Chinese Premier Xi Jinping. Well, there's no change in our position, our, our filing with the arbitration for, for arbitration. This is still an active process and we continue to await progress of that process. I think what was reaffirmed by the two leaders yesterday is what the President and former President Hu Jintao affirmed when they met in September 2011, uh, when the President visited China, that uh, there is a robust history of bilateral relations between the two countries that is not defined alone by issues in the uh, South China Sea. In the session, the president proposed that ASEAN member countries pursue strategies of greater connectivity, public-private partnership, and small and medium enterprises. Terrorism and Ebola virus were also discussed during the plenary session. Uh, there was also significant mention of the need to, to face no, or to, to deal with the threat of international terrorism, including ISIS. And this was, all, this was also expressed by, by most of the heads of state. The other concern that was significantly addressed was, all, was the, the threat of Ebola. And there is broad agreement that there will have to be some kind of a regional effort to be able to meet this threat effectively. For the People's Television, Elena Luna, Nipido, Myanmar.